Good morning and welcome to WWDC. Our new release is iOS 14, the app library. So we created an easy way to hide app pages. I just go into jiggle mode, tap the dots at the bottom and check this out. I get a zoomed out view of all my app pages. I can simply tap to hide the pages I no longer need. Just like that. Next, let's turn to widgets. So check this out. I'm just gonna tap and hold on the weather widget and I can drag it out of today view and onto my home screen. We're also bringing picture in picture to iPhone to start playing a show. Now check this out. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture in picture right over the home screen. Another iconic experience that's getting a major update is Siri. For example, if you say open Safari, Siri pops up at the bottom of the screen and instantly launches the app. When communicating with someone in another language, Siri can help with translations. That's why we're introducing a new app called Translate, and it can work completely offline, keeping your conversations private. Using advanced on-device machine learning and the powerful neural engine, you can translate your text and voice between any combination of these 11 languages. Next up, messages. So we are introducing a new way to let you stay connected to your most important conversations by letting you pin them at the top of your list so you can always get to them. Last, let's chat about groups. First, we're adding inline replies that let you reply directly to a specific message. You can view replies in the full conversation or you can view them as their own thread so you can focus in on the specific topic. To make it even more clear who a message was meant for, we're introducing mentions. With mentions, you can just type someone's name to direct a message to them. And now you have the ability to only be notified when you're mentioned in the group conversation. Next, let's take a look at features that help us while we're out and about, starting with Maps. In iOS 14, the Maps team will be working with some of the world's most trusted brands to offer amazing guides. Guides for great places to eat, shop, meet friends, or explore in cities around the world. For environmentally conscious drivers, we're also introducing EV routing. If you have an electric car, MAPS is going to help eliminate range anxiety. And now, on to CarPlay. We have new wallpaper options, perfect for the car. And we're adding support for new categories of CarPlay apps, parking, EV charging, and quick food ordering. Now you can leave your keys at home and unlock and start your car with your iPhone. It's super simple. It uses NFC and you just tap to unlock. And I place my phone on the charging pad and then push to start. Now, let's turn to the App Store. An app clip is a small part of an app. They start with this card, which quickly pops up. And with just a tap, you can launch the app clip. You don't need to enter credit card numbers because app clips can use Apple Pay for payments. And you don't have to manually log into an account because it can take advantage of sign in with Apple. To ensure that they launch quickly, they'll need to be less than 10 megabytes in size. Which brings us to this year and our new release, iPad OS 14. Like calls. Now, today when you receive a call on iPad, you see this. Whatever you were working on is suddenly completely covered with the incoming call screen. Not cool. Wouldn't it be nicer if instead you saw this? Well, that's much better. Now an incoming call is presented with a compact notification that doesn't take you out of context. And you can simply tap to answer or flick it away to dismiss. And of course, we're bringing this to iOS as well. We think our iPhone customers are going to love it. Now there's one more key experience we've redesigned for iPad this year, and that's search. We've rebuilt search from the ground up to be universal becoming the single destination where you can start all of your searches. First, we made it better than ever as an app launcher. You just start typing a few characters and you can instantly get to where you're going. It's also great for finding contacts to message or call or documents. You can even search directly into apps like Keynote, Messages, Mail, or Files with improvements to Apple Pencil. So this year, we're bringing Scribble to iPad. So you can handwrite into any text field and it will automatically be converted to text. You'll notice how Scribble recognizes both English and Chinese in the same line. We can automatically detect what you write. 
like phone numbers so I can make a phone call, or addresses so I can look up directions. And of course, iPad users also benefit from the great features you already saw in iOS 14 and much more that we didn't have time to talk about. Next, let's talk about AirPods. Starting with automatic switching. Let's say you just finished listening to a podcast and you pick up your iPad to watch a show. AirPods will magically switch over. We're introducing face sharing. You'll be able to discover curated faces with third-party apps on the App Store, or discover a new favorite watch face right on a website, or receive watch faces directly from friends and family. And in Watch OS 7, we're adding dance. Dance is a total body workout that's great for your heart. Tracking your sleep. That starts with choosing not only when you would like to wake up in the morning, but also when you'd like to go to bed. We know you'll enjoy using your watch throughout the day and now throughout the night. In addition to sleep keeping you healthy, there's another preventative care item that's so important, particularly now. Hand washing. During this, you'll get a little coaching to do a good job. You'll see a countdown along with haptics and sounds to make sure you wash as long as you're supposed to. If you pause early, there's a polite note to keep washing. And when you're done, you'll see, hear, and feel it. At Apple, we believe privacy is a fundamental human right. So we build it into our products from the beginning of the design process. In addition to the option of sharing your precise location, you'll have the option to only share your approximate location with apps. Next, let's talk about tracking. So moving forward, App Store policy will require apps to ask before tracking you across apps and websites owned by other companies. And we're making gaming on Apple TV even more personal by expanding multi-user support. Now you can instantly resume your games exactly where you left off. Just open Control Center to switch between users, and you can now see your game progress, achievements, and friends. Our next release of macOS is macOS Big Sur. But we've gone even further this year by giving you one place to get at all your controls. We've brought Control Center to the Mac. All of my controls are here, and it's really easy to make adjustments. Now, we've also reinvented Notification Center. You can access it by clicking on the time in the upper right. And as you see, we now have a single view that brings your notifications and widgets together all in one place. Messages Effects helps you celebrate special moments and get your point across. And you're also getting pin conversations, along with new groups enhancements. Next, Safari. In fact, when loading frequently visited websites, Safari is now on average more than 50% faster than Chrome. And native translation capabilities built right into Safari. Today is going to be a truly historic day for the Mac. Because today is the day we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. When we make bold changes, it's for one simple yet powerful reason, so we can make much better products. When we look ahead, we envision some amazing new products and transitioning to our own custom silicon is what will enable us to bring them to life. So of course, when we updated our apps for Big Sur, we built everything as native for Apple Silicon. And I'm happy to say we have all of our own Apple apps, including our most demanding Pro apps, like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, up and running as native now, and they'll be ready for customers on day one. Some of the biggest Mac developers have already gotten started. Microsoft is hard at work on Office for the Mac. And we've been working with Adobe on their flagship Creative Cloud, and many of their apps are already up and running great. Final Cut fully exploits the system's multi-core architecture to let us play back not just one or two, but three streams of full-resolution 4K ProRes all on an A12Z processor. And for the customers, we expect to ship our first Mac with Apple Silicon by the end of this year, and we expect the transition to take about two years. We plan to continue to support and release new versions of macOS for Intel-based Macs for years to come. In fact, we have some new Intel-based Macs in the pipeline that we're really excited about. Our OS releases will be available as developer betas today, and each of them will have a public beta, including watchOS for the very first time starting next month. And all of this great software will be available to our customers this fall.